Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew After Hours. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very that, uh, risque. I don't know. It's so risque. <laughs> I don't it's know. unscheduled. <laughs> unscheduled gameplay. <Ooh. laughs> um, yeah, this is kind of a sneak preview mm -hmm. of what's to come after we come back from the break a okay. little bit. Okay. Because uh, I wanted to do shows that are not part of the regular show but that are like playthroughs yeah longer playthroughs yeah of games that maybe we wanted to play a little bit more mm. during the show but people are like maybe they some people don't want to watch two hours of us play a certain game over and over and over again to get a certain score or yeah. we want to explore a dungeon for five hours yeah. or something like that yeah. right yeah 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 um so more, more of a casual, ra less structured, just very casual. playing a game and yeah. Very, very casual. And yeah. we can do it any time. Yeah. That's a thing. We don't have to do it at a scheduled time. No. It's like, oh, if people are around, like Mick Muse and uh Atari -iner, Atari yeah. uh, and anybody else that's lurking. Yeah. Good morning um, in the morning. So all the people who are yes. yeah, that's I'm another guessing thing. Europe in Europe, so Europe, Australia. Yeah. Those they're on off oh, times. Yeah, yeah, they might be very early in Europe. Um, not Depends sure what because yeah. usually you start at six and it's one a.m. there, so it is nine, so it's four a.m. or four thirty in Europe. So be... doesn't quite Depends work. Depends on Europe. which part of Europe you're in, too. But yeah. yeah, Eastern Eastern Europe. Yeah, but today we're going to be playing Turbo Arcade. Yes, which we premiered on Friday. Yeah, on the show two this days is ago. Two days ago. This is. <laughs> Champ Games, new game by uh, John Champo and Nathan Strum, uh, based on a 1981 arcade game. I do still want to thank the Twitch subscribers, because we're still on Twitch. Yeah. Um, Alan the Farm, Scar Coder, Atari Age, Buck Owens, Cafe Man, 2D, Canadian Tender Catalogs, Charles and Check, Chris Wheelan, Coconut 81, Dan, Dianoi, Dan ABC, Fat Beavis, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, One Urado, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Malchitos, Mark Space Inc., Matthew Lazarus, Metal Atari, Metal Lunar, Seven. Mike Soul, Miss Command, M.K. Smith, Ms. Zarna Whoop, Mr. Zarna Whoop, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strom, Menial Media, Nintendo, Cade Pack, Rat, Quahog, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweets, Smitty B, Socrates, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The D Train, 37, The Watchman 89, and Tiki Dan K. Nice. And you can get your name on this list right here Lovely as list. well uh, if you subscribe. And you can do it for free if you have Amazon Prime. Link it to Twitch Prime mm -hmm. and all that goodness. Mm -hmm. And follow us on all your um social media mm -hmm. now what we did neglect to do on the show the other day on friday yeah. on friday because i didn't know what game it was yeah and we also had a bunch of technical difficulties where my oh, computer shut insane. down insane to zero shut insane. it right down it wouldn't like, even boot to it BIOS. Wouldn't, it wouldn't boot back up we were all like ah <laughs> what's going on yeah. it just it it's just completely Completely died, it but it had problems the last time you had someone zoom in too. Yes. So have you gotten made any progress? I have. Do you have an idea of what the issue is? Uh, I have inklings of what the issue could be. Yeah. I've solved one of them, which is a USB problem. Yes. Uh, I did not know there was such a short limit on the length of a USB three cable. The length, maximum length of a USB three cable is nine feet 10 inches or 11 inches okay um almost so i have feet. yeah a bunch of like nine foot extension cables for usb3 oh wow and i've been adding those on to other you know other pieces of usb3 wow which has gone way over way over some of them were I... 16 feet wow some of them were like 12 feet okay and I was wondering why things weren't working. Yeah, well, that kind of makes sense. I've well exceeded. I, I don't know how it actually worked. And that's why it was cutting in and out, giving us fuzz on the line. Like, Sometimes. Zzz, yeah, making yeah, our yeah. voices crappy. Yeah. So no more of that. No more of the USB that's 3. Good. That might have been like... Some issue. Sending signals yeah. or overloading or who knows what it was doing. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. But that's one issue solved. Mm. Um, I've got the computer monitoring for heat issues because that can okay. shut down a computer too yeah so far uh everything it doesn't even increase in heat like, so this that's is not so, an issue do, doing the encoding and the broadcasting 
is so minimal of an yeah. impact it's on the like computer. It's not like playing a AAA game or no. anything like that. It's no. yeah. And and most of the loads on the GPU and the GPU is like nothing. Mm. It's it's hardly even loaded up. So anyway, we'll see. I've got it monitoring the temperatures. I mean, if it crashes, I'll look over and there's nothing going to be there. So. Yeah, that's or true. maybe the screen will be frozen. Or maybe you'll see it just before it goes down. So. Hopefully. <laughs> so our nominal levels for temperature right now is the CPU is at 50. Mm. Started at 51. It's at 52. It's at 50 now. goes below. Motherboard, 47. It's at 37 now. It's actually colder than when I started. Mm. Uh, GPU is... Start at 54, it's still at 54. Mm. So, I don't know. It's not having an effect whatsoever. Mm. Um, so, let's start out by looking at the arcade version. Of, of Turbo? Of Turbo. Nice. Um, so, we have something to compare it to, mm. right? Um, so, here's the arcade version of Turbo. I if we can, yeah, we can turn on the sound a bit here. Um, I think we're actually somebody's playing this game. Yeah. So you can see that there's a city Beautiful there. Beautiful skyline. Yeah. Yep. Um, there's the trees there that we see. I'm yeah. just comparing it to what we see in the, the 2600 version yeah. of Champ Games now. There's the wall. It looks almost exactly the, the wall. same. Yeah, it looks beautiful. And the water and the sky. There's the flag. So yeah. The, so the ambulance is coming. There's the ambulance. You just dodge the ambulance. Right? It, it no goes in a purpose. straight line yeah. in the middle. Yeah. You have, you're forced to one side or the other. There's the tunnel. It looks exactly the same. And there's the snow field. Yeah, with the trees. It's, it's amazing what they've done. Oh, amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, the cars look great. Your car looks great. The tunnel looks the same. Because mm -hmm. pretty much what Nathan Strum said he did is he took those scenes directly from the arcade and adapted them using After Effects. Mm. <laughs> And uh, Photoshop and rescaled them for every single thing. That's crazy. Amazing. So, um, so that is um, the arcade version of it. Mm -hmm. McMuse. Yeah, they nailed it. Yeah. Oh my God, they yeah. did. So, looking it up, there was only two versions. Uh, two versions released for home consoles. Okay. Uh, they were Intellivision and Coleco. Okay. So this is the Intellivision one. Um, oh, a lot blockier. <laughs> a lot slower. Yeah. Oh, actually, it's speeding up. There we go. Yeah. He was just moving slow. The cars are very low detail. It looks like he's driving through servers. <laughs> yes. It's a server farm. <laughs> it's a server farm. Your remote control, a little <laughs> That's RC, <right>. RC car. <laughs> actually, the trees yeah. are better. The trees are pretty good. They're very the tall. The trees aren't bad. Yeah. It's like, that is funny. It's like a little oil slicks <laughs> instead of water. Instead of water. No hydroplaning. No. That's pretty good. That's not that bad. That rotation. Yeah. I think, I think. That one's pretty good. I oh, look at your that, car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spinning around. So let's jump ahead. Definitely the arcade and the champ games version are <laughs> a little bit more sophisticated, oh, but. They do go through the tunnel. It looks like they have oh, less. Oh, that's nice. The tunnel looks pretty good. Less scenery. Yeah. Than yeah. the 2600 version, because there's yeah. no city. There's no city on the skyline. They do go to snow. Mm. That's about it in this video, anyway. Gotcha. So very limited. There's no city skyline in the background or anything like that. No. Uh, then mm. we'll take a look at the Coleco uh, version, which actually sold with a steering wheel and a foot pedal. Oh, really? It was okay. like a big bundle. And a I, big bundle. I actually have the steering wheel and the foot pedal and the cartridge. Oh, for the Coleco? I've never played it on the Coleco. Oh, that's funny. Because uh, in the uh, mid 90s, I collected. Anything I can get my hands on mm. for Intellivision, Coleco, and Atari 2600. Gotcha. At flea markets. Because it was cheap. and Oh, yeah. it was, games were 50 cents. Yeah. Um, oh, peripherals this... were like a couple dollars. There's a city made out of triangles. I know those triangles remind <laughs> me of uh, Commodore 64. Yeah, like all, the, all the built-in like, graphics. <sighs> graphics, yeah. Uh, uh, Petsky. Petsky. Petsky, That's yeah. what it is. So the city's pretty good. Oh, oh, they do a transition. Half city, half trees. That's yeah. a good way well, to transition. Well, they had water. Sorry. Water and trees. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. You guys version. can't see it. Yeah. Um, sorry about that. Let's go back to the city for a second. So the city, and then they do the transition. Mm. The arcade does not do this. 
Arcade but does, this is good. No, this is a good idea. The arcade does have water on one side and trees but on the other. But not the city and trees. No, no, it's not, not the same. Not that we saw. But it, it does That's have nice the, the split. Yeah. And, nice. oh, and then... Those are the hills? The hills not, and trees. Not quite as nice looking, I don't think, as the Champ Games one. Oh, no, no. The uh, oh, look oh, at the mountains. mountains are very the nice. Jaggedy and kind of faded. Yeah. Um, like they're behind, behind some haze. Yeah. There's the seawall. That's wall. nice. Yeah. yeah that's they've not got bad. the curve there going. Uh, and they've got water on the left and open field. Actually, let's see the transition here. So just pop in. Yeah, the there arcade does this too. Like when we were playing the Champ Games version, it was like pop. Things would just pop on. Well, but the arcade does that, and in the forums yeah. they're saying we're trying to stay true to what the arcade, arcade is, is, so yeah. that people who are used to the arcade will yeah. be just be, oh yeah, this is the arcade. They've got the snow with the trees, very yeah, nice. Yeah, I like the snow, the snow. Uh, no city, Ooh. no cityscape. Oh, 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 let's get here. Actually, oh. I think I saw one. Different colors. City on the left oh, and a cityscape that's and nice. water. It's like a beach, a yeah. beach scene. Nice. But not quite the skyline in the background. No. Yeah. Ooh, look oh, look at that. Yeah, because the arcade... That is dramatic. The arcade, yeah. when you die, it has a full screen um, like, death. Oh, really? Yeah, it didn't actually show that on the one that I had. Let me actually look it up, because I think there's a better arcade. Mm. Uh, turbo. This might be the one. I think he dies. Yeah. There we go. So mm. I'll pause that, go back a bit, and switch over so you guys can see it. So here's a, a lot longer one. Mm. He cheats at the beginning of this, but then he stops cheating. And then he does crash. Yeah. Okay. So full screen explosion. Oh, I see. Very, very cool. Mm. Um... Now he dies constantly because he's not cheating anymore. Okay. Um, then there was an Atari prototype version mm. that was found, that was talked about and then found a lot later. It was going to come out in 83. Um, and somebody found it. And then they some people fixed it up at Atari age. Oh, and then released it on cartridge through Atari Age with the fixes and the original Through Atari well. Age. Yeah. Mm. Now, this version looks brutal. Pretty blocky. Blocky. And look how fast the cars come at you. Like, yeah. just watch. It's, I don't even know how you can play it. Like, look how fast that is. Unbelievable. <gasps> wow. and, the, and the cities go, like, the, the buildings go by at an unbelievable speed. Like, that's that's insane. That looks like they're going, like... 600 kilometers an hour. Yeah. <laughs> like, the cityscape in the background oh, it's is gorgeous. very nice. Like the color transition of the screen yeah. is really beautiful. The uh, the sunset. Yeah. And the, and the buildings are really, really, really nice. Yeah. And the cars are, are monochromatic, at least. Not not your car, but the other ones. Yeah. Um, your car's pretty good, and the, the buildings are fine. You but know? your car doesn't move forward or back. It just... No. Oh, my God. Along a line. What the hell was and, that? That was yeah. crazy. So it doesn't really make it to anything but um, mm. but that one scene in it anyway. So mm. I don't have the uh, turbo version that was updated. So mm. don't have anything to compare it to right now. Mm. Um, but let's get to Champ Games version, and I'll talk about it some more. Um, We have a cat here, by the way. Yeah, Hi, it's Atari. Atari. He's lounging on yeah, the floor. Yeah, he's lounging. Oh, he ran off. <laughs> of course he did. So, has John ever made a non-port game? It'd be cool to see Mario what come up with. Oh, thank Mario you, Togo Mario, for subscribing. Uh, there is a Turbo version right now on cartridge in the Atari Age store. And that's the one from the pro prototype that people fixed up car nice. going by because he mentioned that oh, i didn't want to touch anything nice. to see it again yeah 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 yeah. You know. uh john uh has he made a non-port game he's making baseball he's making hockey those, those are non-ports non -ports. they're his versions yeah yeah there was another game that he said he did make 
I'm, but a lot of his games are ports. Yes, and he's yeah. amazing at it. Mm. Um, so it's John and Nathan so far on this game. Um, are we so, starting? Yeah. Do you want, you want to me start? Or? Yeah, you, you start. Start a novice. Novice. Game. And then get see myself. how far you can get. Yeah. Um, yeah, beautiful artwork on the title there. You can see. Now, what this basically is is a playfield movie playing. Yeah. And sprite cars being overlaid on top of the playfield movie. As, as they explained it on the show on Friday. Um, because Nathan made all these animated screens, and they're full screen graphics with compression. And he's basically showing one frame after another yeah. of, of full screen playfield graphics, and then putting the cars on in the right spots. And that's um, also graphics at the top, the flag. But everything else is playfield. I don't know how you avoid that. I don't know. That's crazy. It, it, it's like right now you don't die. You don't no, lose a life not, not in the first round. round. On this level, on the other levels you do but die. But like, I mean, I can see, I can see your skill improving as you go. But holy heck! I know. Like they, they also, they also, if they're moving faster and from behind, oh, um. That was a. F sometimes they just hit you from behind when you're starting up, and it's like I don't even know this how. This one you need to back off and go slow. Yeah. Not too slow, because they'll hit you from behind. But that's exactly it. It's yeah. like... Oh, you're running out of time. You haven't even made it. No, I haven't made it. Wow. I've had a terrible round. <laughs> I, I have had a terrible okay. round. I have passed it. Um, but, uh, yeah, when they hit you from behind, you're like, come on. You're like, dead. Yeah. Okay. So I can let's, do better. Um, <laughs> I did better when we were playing on Let's Friday. read about what they posted in the forums so john said hi all last night on zero page homebrew's twitch stream champ games revealed the secret game that we've been working on for on the last few months turbo arcade for the 2600 this has been a yearly tradition now it's the yeah. third year in the row uh in a row that we did it uh the first year was galaga yes second year was the last year was robotron this year is turbo arcade um, so it was a nice surprise. I had never played the game. I don't think I've ever even seen this in the arcade, actually. So this one took me a little bit off guard. It was like, uh, Turbo. You weren't expecting, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know anything about this game. But after seeing it, it's, it's astounding. Astounding. The technology behind it. Um, Turbo is a 3D racing game from the early 80s, 1981 to be precise, that features state-of-the-art scaling graphics. Uh, Nathan Strum has done an amazing job bringing these images to life on the old 2600, including full-screen, four-color, scrolling backgrounds inspired by CD-W Xevious kernels and managed to capture all of the iconic scenes from the arcade game, including the city, tunnel, wall, bridges, snow forest, and many more. Nathan also stepped out of his comfort zone and provided the sound effects. But if anyone is interested in checking his work, we'd appreciate the help. Oh, terrible, terrible. No, nope, not oh, even close. Might make it. I was no. doing way better before. I know. No. no. Is that the lowest? Uh, I'm on novice. Level? Yeah. Is there beginner? No, there's novice. Oh, <laughs> just novice. Just novice. Uh, the game currently supports joystick for control, but we're hoping into adding in driver control support. And people are really wanting that. I've seen a number of messages, people saying, oh, we want uh, driving controller support, which I can see why. Because then you get a little bit more control rather than off and on. Because you can steer with the, with the uh, driving controller, you could steer more or less depending on how fast you want to move to the left or right. Uh, there are two modes of shifting support. Automatic. The game automatically shifts from high to low and vice versa when necessary. You don't make it this time. It's just too much crashing. Yeah. Um, 
and manual. The player manually shifts from lower high gear. We'll have to try that out because we didn't actually get to that in the ship. A manual and high gear? Yeah, low and high gear. Uh, sorry, so say that again. You Do you have the option of automatic or standard? Yep, you do. And we just didn't get to that. It was too much of a panic oh, I thought, with the game I crashing. I thought it wasn't, they didn't have it in there yet. Because we tried to switch really? it. No, I think we did switch it. And we just didn't play with it. I switched it right back. Immediately. Um, due to the large number of uh, large number of data needed for the 150 plus scenes and the 300 plus frames of animation for Turbo Arcade, the game uses the new 64K CDFJ bank switching scheme. Currently, this is not supported by the Harmony or Harmony Honkor of Fred, aka Batari. Yay! 41 cars too. That was pretty. Yeah. Much better. <laughs> Batari was gracious enough. Oh, you go right away. I know. It should no be pause. from behind. Oh! Lost a car. No, but you start Two from left. scratch. There's nothing you can do. You have to s stay on the gas, I guess. No, but even if you do, you you still slowly ramp up in speed. Are you sure? Yes. Even like if there's. You stay on the gas. It's like it's like completely mm. random. You don't. You 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 start over again. Uh, was gracious enough to send a loaner development 128k melody board to myself, Nathan, and James so we could develop, test, and reveal the game on real hardware. Yeah. Thanks, Fred. The game does run on the latest version of Stella. I will need to test the ROM on other emulators to confirm whether it works or not. Uh, the demo ROM is expected to be made available in the next week and will be available on Champ Games' ROM demo download page. Mm. If you haven't already, ch check out the latest demos of Robot War, Ladybug Arcade, and Gorf Arcade. All expected to be released in 2021. So what? what's the select switch? It's the... Um, there we go. It's the left. Manual. Yeah. So I have to hit the button to switch from low to high gear? I think it's Up forward and down. And down. Yeah. Oh, I'm, this is going to be terrible. <laughs> I think he said at four is the one. No, down and up don't do anything. Maybe it's down. There you go. There we go. Okay. No, I did do it properly, but I that's fine. Uh, the full version not to be expected until be released until 2022. So he has a lot of games out of this. What did you just hit? I didn't hit anything. Nothing. Nothing hit you. Weird. Bug. I don't drive manual though, so maybe. Um... <laughs> oh, you destroyed your engine. Yeah. Maybe. Switched into low gear from top speed. A little beep is heard every time you pass a car, which is very helpful. Um, so, let's see. Let's see. Notes. Sorry, I'm playing with the... I'm playing with the <laughs> gears right now because I'm not used to it at all. I can turn up the volume. It is down the to shift gears and up to shift down if you suddenly want to be in low gear. Okay, to slow down. I found uh, just taking your finger off the gas pedal was fast enough of a slow yeah. down for me on the automatic. Yeah, I don't like I'm not used to manual. <laughs> no, we don't drive a manual car. You learned in one? No, you never. Did. I tried. I tried. My parents had a manual car, okay. which I'm convinced they bought because my sister and I learned on on uh, automatic, and so that way we could not use their car because <laughs> they never really taught us uh, to drive it. So we had way. this crappy old um, Chevy Cavalier that was automatic, and they had a nicer Toyota that was manual. So we had two cars, and yeah, we were never allowed to drive the manual one because we never learned how to drive it. So I'm going to read that post by Nathan talking about the different versions of Turbo. I posted these links in the chat last night when James's computer decided it could no longer handle the awesomeness of what the 2600 was doing. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> I had sent these to James to show Link during the stream as a kind of history of Turbo on the 2600, but that never materialized. Obviously, well, we were having panic. a whole bunch of issues. Panic so here mode. they are now for your perusal of amusement. I threw this video together really quickly since a lot of the other YouTube videos either use cheats or are of poor quality or have too much talking. <laughs> too much talk. That's funny. I didn't make it to the Red Bridge. I didn't make it to the Red Bridge, though. I did I did make it to the you Red did. Bridge. 
Uh, I did have a good, a couple of good rounds in there. That was a particularly good game, and I made it to the Red Bridge. Uh, but can you see the name, please? Uh, it's in the little box in the bottom left corner. Can't read it. Scone Bone Radio. Scone Bone Radio has uh, what? Uh, followed. Thank you for following. Thank yeah. you for enjoying. Sorry, it's uh, it's a little too far away for me to see, <laughs> and and too small. Um, Coleco catalog listing turbo for the 2600. Uh, anyone who ever bought a Coleco game has probably seen this along with Cosmic Adventure and Ladybug. Coleco never actually released turbo for the 2600. Promises, promises, but Champ Games will have done two out of three after Turbo Arcade was <laughs> finished. You're welcome, Coleco, yes. <laughs> Finish their job for them. Oh, 41 exactly. The same. <laughs> In television v video, avert your eyes. Well, at least they got a version. It did come in handy for one thing. When we were putting the box together for the Atari H prototype reproduction, we bought a CIB Intellivision copy off eBay so we could scan it. Oh, I yeah. see. Yeah, the Coleco one was pretty, uh, pretty good. rudimentary. Yeah. yeah. The Intellivision one. On television, sorry. Yeah, the Coleco one was, was fine. Good. Yeah. This was the only game I would ever would have ever considered buying a Coleco Vision for. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's lots of good Coleco games. Yeah. So he also oh, posted come on, the link no! to the. Oh. It's so brutal on round two because you don't. You, you can't die. Crash. You just die. You just die. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's pretty rough. Um, you have to get really into the groove. Of it. Yes. Uh, are we it's Electronic super... Games Magazine Review of Turbo from their 1983 software encyclopedia? So he has this link. They probably saw it at CES that year. Maybe Coleco sent them a work in progress version. Who knows? But this ruined my life because I kept waiting for Turbo to show up for the 2600 for years. <laughs> Resellers even listed it in their ads in the back wow. of the magazine. Ugh. Wow. But of course, they'd probably just gotten a list from Coleco saying, coming soon, maybe even mm. after a flyer. Wow, so they were right on the edge of releasing it then. And he has a photo of the Coleco promotional flyer. I love the ambulance trashes cars. Like yeah. just runs into them. It just runs into them, yeah. And is faster than any car on the road. Yeah. Well, technically, they, they are allowed to drive fast. Yeah. But, but these uh, guys don't slow down for oh, it. Oh, no. Oh, God. They're not pulling over to the, to the side no, of the highway. They're just yeah. doing their own thing. There should be a game where you have to do that, or you immediately Pull over die. to the side. Yeah. Oh, oh no, it's, it's, the, you know, it's, it's the ambulance. It's the police. Pull over. There's been lots of games where you <laughs> have to outrun the police. Well, yeah. All the Grand Theft Autos, maybe? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, where you actually have to drive in a safe ma manner when... Uh, Oh, safe manner. Yeah, I've never seen one of those. That would be pretty fun. Have to slow down to the speed limit. Uh, yeah. I think get 40, more than 41 this time. You risk getting pulled over. Oh, 41. Weird. Yeah, I got 41 I thought I did way, too. way, way, way better than 41. Oh, see? It does keep your speed if you hold down the button. Oh, so if you're like so me you and should. you are paying attention, you slow down and then someone hits you from behind. Definitely should. So now I only I have two cars left. But it's I have to it's be so rough. careful. Well, you only ever have two. Wait, two cars is. Oh that, my god. Is that novice? Now yeah, they're I gonna. Guess it is. It's going to destroy me. Oh no. No. See? You start That's slow. If you start else. over. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't. So you just have to dodge those first four. <sighs> uh, I know. I know. It's so hard. That's the problem. Is is. There's a pack of them too. They run into each other. That's funny. Yeah. They, they, and some of them explode on the road, too, I've noticed, so. I find on their that own, funny. Yeah. yeah. Or they get hit by an ambulance, or. Yeah, I find that funny. Oh, oh, oh there's oh, a Red Bridge. Got... Good job, Red Bridge. It's very brief. It is. It is very psychedelic when you go through it. You're like, whoa, what just happened? Oh, no. Oh, from behind. That was good, though. That was good. That was probably my best game so far. I got into yeah. the green, but I still had tons of time left. 
Yeah, you have to keep it going okay. for 90 seconds. I do have the Atari box hooked up. I'm not sure if they've implemented the um, scoring system. Oh, through the Atari box. Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure they have. Probably not. It hasn't been released for people yet, so there's not much point. No. So we'll see. Oh my god, the scores to beat are hard. Uh, those are the champ games. The rando scores <laughs> they put in there. Read, every, read, read it all? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're well caught up. Can you go to the Wikipedia page for Turbo? Is it in here? No. Well, just search for it. Oh, I do. No, you don't have it. Oh, no, no, no. no. Turbo. Whoa, what the... Two cars wiped out each other, and then I went right through them. Apparently, you can't crash into crashed cars. Well, that's good to know. Because crashed cars just whip by you, so that is... Unless that's a mistake that they haven't... Uh... Turbo isn't... Do you want me to read it out? Uh, yep. Turbo is an arcade racing game released in 1981 by Sega, designed and coded by Steve Hano Hanoa. Uh, the game received positive reviews upon release with praise for its challenging and realistic gameplay for its time. <laughs> for its time. For its time. Uh, Three-dimensional, full-color graphics with changing scenery and cockpit, cockpit sit-down arcade cabinet replicating a race car. Blah. That is a very awkward sentence for whoever wrote that in Wikipedia. <laughs> it became a commercial success, topping the monthly player meter arcade charts in North America and ranking highly on the game machine arcade charts in Japan. Uh, the game was manufactured in three formats, standard upright, cabaret, mini, and seated environmental cockpit. Cock <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Cockpit. <laughs> Cockpit is a horrible word to have it to is. say. <laughs> Very troublesome. 41. <laughs> it's always 41. Well, maybe that's kind of a max. Because I got 41 when I did it too, but not always. Oh, I went right through that car. Yeah, you did. Maybe you were slightly invincible at the beginning. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Um... <laughs> All three versions feature a steering wheel, a gear shift for low and high gears, and an accelerator pedal. Mm. Uh, the screen is a vertically oriented 20-inch raster display. What the hell? The guy, cr the guy crashed into another car, mm. and then immediately zoomed, zoomed down the screen, you. and there's no way I could avoid him like that. But yeah. I happened to avoid that one. There's yeah. a lot of cheap deaths in this. Yeah, it feels like it, doesn't it? Well, it, it, it is a port of an arcade game, and arcade games are all about cheap deaths, so, you know. That is true. It's however they get you to put, Jesus. put the quarters in the machine. This game's so hard! <laughs> um, what's a, well, ra what's a raster display? Raster. Raster is dots, basically, as opposed to vector. Oh, It's like dot, dot, okay. dot, 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 it's down the screen. Sometimes It's, it's a pixelated Sometimes screen. they drew it this way because the screen Instead was sideways. It was sideways, yeah. yeah. Okay. So raster just means non-vector. Right? This yeah. is the 2600. Yes, it is. It yeah. is... Uh, Looking good, eh? Look at this starting screen. This I is love it. kind of a new a new thing that um, the developers are doing. Our full screen play field graphics. Mm. Um, Chris uh, Walton did it with Xevious. Yeah, Champ but, Games is a genius. Oh my god, yes. Yeah. Um, John, along with Nathan, do just really brilliant programming. Oh. Really? <laughs> um, so in Xevious, I love the rainbow car. What by the he way. has done, uh, what it's he amazing. did was full screen play field graphics, mm. but but the scrolling. I'm gonna stick with him. Yeah, you kind of have to. But the scrolling was slow, right? Mm. And it slowly went down the screen, but. But there's tons and tons of screens that he had to scroll through. And this one, it's it's like taken to the extreme. The whole screen changes every frame with a different... Um, like, see all those trees on the side? Those aren't drawn individually. It's the whole screen being drawn. Mm. Um, like an animation, which is it, what he was saying. It is an yeah. animation. A clever animation. There's, yeah. there's some space-saving schemes going on, right? Yeah. So that you're not, like, for sure, 
uh, drawing the whole whole screen every time because you don't need to. Some things are stay the same, like most of the sides. Mm. Um, can I make it to the red bridge. Ooh, I like that. Forty-one. Yeah, I think it's max. <laughs> Round one. Good stuff. Oh, and hold down the button. Watch. Yep. You pick yeah. up right where you okay. left off. So, so keep you, that. Keep your finger on so the button. So if you let go of the button. It will go down to zero. I, I wanna Don't take want a break, that. but no, you can't do that. Not in this game. Not in this game. Oh, you bastard. Oh, I have three cards. How do I get three cards? I must have done really well. Um Champ Games is a cheat. Yes. In addition to the on screen display, Turbo features an LED panel to the left of the screen that displays the current player's score oh. and the high score table. Turbo Turbo also features lighted oil and temperature gauges on either side of the steering what? wheel. Like, nice. But they don't do anything. No, probably not. They're because probably just for that's decoration. not part of the game. Turbo was ported to the ColecoVision and Television Home consoles. Oh! Uh, I'm curious. We need to ask Maybe our um, local arcade if they have a, a Turbo. Look at that! D d did it again! Oh. Crash bang. It crashed into me. Mm. Um... On the grassy part, I'm going to make it. We have to make it to round three. I'll show you on the grassy part that not all the graphics need to be stored all the time. Like, look where I'm driving right now in the middle. It's just the same all the time. It's, it's gray and blue lines. Mm. And outside of the middle, it's like green and blue. Mm. Really? <laughs> smack, 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 smack. Like, what are you supposed to do about that? Yeah. Not get hit in the first place. <laughs> so I is supposed to says, uh, put in perspective, Batari Basic lets you have two to three high res playfield <laughs> screens, yes. and those are really double line. This playfield is single line. Yes. It's it's crazy. What they're able to pump out. Ah. See when you're when you're in this when you're a novice yeah. and you crash on first course, yeah. it doesn't start you over. It starts you from driving at zero, not with that pack of cars, mm -hmm. and that's why you keep getting hit from behind because the cars are already started going. Right, right now I'm, I could get cra crashed into multiple times, but after this, on round two, you start with a pack of cars. So nobody could crash into it. Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. Good job. 41 cars. <laughs> 41 well, cars. 41 cars pass. Well, you're at the max, right? You're at the full yeah. max. I think 41, it just doesn't, it, just doesn't it stops counting beyond 41. That's the difference. Yeah. yeah. So I have to be very careful. I you do. Have do. Three cars. Super careful. Oh. See? That is garbage. So you don't did. even be behind two cars that are like yeah. near each other because they could crash into each other. The hard, hard part is the seawall. Yes. Oh, you bastard! You almost got me. Because they come, they whip around that corner, and it yep. and the um. Oh, oh, you did it again! Oh, that was that was a good run though. Yep. Um, Not doing too bad. Fifty-eight seconds left. Not too far to get to the green. Crazy, I love it. I love that red, that red bridge. Really, if I take it easy yeah. here, I'll make it to round three. Yeah, just be very, very cautious. 30 seconds left. Oh, still. No, neither of us have made it to round three yet, so oh, really, it's it, narrow. Really... <gasps> I remember you making it to this part. Yeah. This narrow part. I, I, I had, like I said, I had the one round where I made it to the red bridge, and I was like, oh, that, that was a good round. This is brutal. Oh, <gasps> no, don't let them come up from behind. That's the yeah, worst. That is the worst. Oh, he comes up fast. Oh, oh round, round three. Round three. <laughs> Good job. Still the ambulance. Oh, God. Yeah, you just have to be a lot more careful once, yeah. you, once you make it. Oh, God. Look at them all. 
They're all grouped. Terrible group cars. Yes, they're like cats. Cats knocking <laughs> objects over. off high shelves so the other one can bat them around on the floor. So hopefully we'll get to see some new scenes here. Uh, are they... It looks repeating. Uh, so far. Yeah. But mind you, that red bridge was new to round two, so yep. maybe... <gasps> Don't go too slow, though. No. They come around the turn so fast, though. You don't have it in manual mode, do you? Oh god, no. I'd be dead. No, I'd be dead, too. This looks more narrow. So. Yeah, it is. It is more narrow. Ooh, I love city, this scene. Neon I city. love it. I think this is beautiful. It's so... Vivid. <laughs> yeah, it is so vivid. And these hills, too. They've done a brilliant job. Yeah, of picking the colors. Of... And... of in, in, in very simple color schemes, too. Like making hills and... Oh, there! There's the, the sea on one side. Yeah, sea on one side, yeah. Good job. Thank you. You have to be so careful. <laughs> 41 cars passed. Speaking of cats, yes, he's... He's he's just cuddling on the, on the soft, soft carpet right now. Yeah. yeah. He, he actually did start the stream on the sofa. He did. Yeah. And then he jumped down really quick. Hey, Metal Lunar 7. Hey, Metal Lunar 7. He says, hey, didn't expect a su surprise stream so soon. <laughs> after hours. Yeah, after yep. hours. <laughs> oh, God. Four cars I'm up to. Oh, well, that's good. That's a good... Uh... Zero page after hours. You like that name? <laughs> no. I like it. <laughs> it's oh, just funny. It is funny. Silly. Nathan Strum posted a video. Yeah. Of him playing to level three. Because he's like, oh, we didn't get to see it on the stream. So. <laughs> so now I'm on round four, Nathan. Oh, Nathan. So how about that? You're going to have to up your game. Of course, it's not a novice, but <laughs> still. <laughs> yeah, well, that's fine. It is not an easy game. No. Oh, it is narrow. So this, this, I feel like this is, this was new Damn to round it. three, the narrowing. Because yes, I don't think you had that in, uh. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. I'm going to pass those I guys. don't know. Not easily. Oh, you're okay, though. You're okay. Wow. Yes! <gasps> yeah! Good job! Keep the I'm finger five. on the button, though. Keep oh, the that's finger right. on the button. Zero, Zero page after dark. That's after dark. even worse. <laughs> after dark. After hours. Actually, after, it might, dark. My after dark might be better. No, no. No, after hours? All of it sounds like Playboy <laughs> after dark. I, I don't know about that. Which I doubt even exists anymore. Oh. No. Cheers to you, Toga, Toga Mariam. I finished my beer, but... Oh, God. Oh, I hate that turn. I, I pretty much what I do on that turn is slow down to the speed I think the cars are going. Oh. Damn it. That guy just slowed down. Uh, this is... And you, it does get slippery. Yeah, it does. On the snow field, you, you glide more side to side. Oh, really? it's hard. Yeah. Really? You're kind of going to crash into me after crashing into somebody I do else? think it's great that when you start up, though, all the, the immediate four cars, the first four cars are running at your pace. Yes. So you can kind of manage that. <gasps> I did it again? Wow, you're kicking butt. It's wow. like you've, you've hit your stride here. Well, I've kind I of figured out hit... a good pattern yeah. of now I can play the next level. Maybe. See how you're doing in uh, normal or whatever. Well, standard, you, standard. In standard, you don't get the <gasps> the bonus first round, but I mean... I've no, you do. You do. You nope. get a, don't you get the bonus first round in all of them, but you get fewer lives. No, oh. I played them all. I played them all. You get the first really? round, but you get fewer uh, lives when you go to round two. So you start with like three in round two. Oh. But then, and then it's two in standard and one in advanced or something like that well we'll play it we'll, we'll yeah. see but i'm pretty sure you always get like that i want to call it the um rat Practice killing round. the rat killing round rat you know killing. when you're oh. in the dungeon and you're destroying the rats figuring out how how you how to play it so yeah or you wake up on a cart <laughs> just wake up on a cart yeah uh, and then the dragons attack yeah the dragon attacks 
I was just replaying Skyrim. I didn't get very far, though. <laughs> it wasn't... It didn't hook me in like it did really? the first time. Yeah, I don't know. I, I started playing right away, mm. and... I don't know. Oh, the bridge. It's so short, but so cool. I, I need a good RPG. I'm feeling... feeling lost right now. Mm. I don't know. There must be... Like, look at the highest rated RPGs. I know. I, I kind of want to try, um, what is it, Cyberpunk, but it's mm. supposed to be not very... Still not good. I, not I keep, good. I, keep I don't know. looking at reviews and they're like, eh, it's still super glitchy. Right? Have you played the VR version of Skyrim? Oh, that completely revamped it for me. Uh, I probably Darcy should. We don't have, we it. don't really have a VR system Whoa, right now. We no. want to get one eventually, but we're but not... prices are a bit high on graphics yeah. cards. Darcy does, though. We yeah. should see if he has it. He did, he, I mean, we haven't does. been over at his place in a while because he, you know, he does it, everything. Sure. Uh, what was that? <laughs> Cheap death. You uh, see that? We a, might... a crashed car just zoomed past me. Can you play Atari in VR? Could you play this in VR? I feel like this would be a good I VR game. I just made it. Round seven. Oh, just, my God. It just made it into the oh. green. This is crazy. You're doing so well. I'm not going to be able to do this well. Uh, you're going to have to try the next, the standard oh, yeah. round, because I am going to just look pathetic in comparison. <laughs> um, Ooh, that's a different bridge. I wonder if, I wonder if you could play a game like this in, in VR. You can play anything in VR. Well, I guess you can. It's just, uh, It's just a matter of what it looks there's like. There's a C64 VR. That is cool. What would I play on, on the C64 in VR? Mm. What, what, what are my favorite games? Um possible mission but that wouldn't help oh me. god i love that game that wouldn't make VR. Um, make no it that's not a VR. vr game although a... although hitting the sound screens where you're doing the puzzles the that would be fun um like round click, eight click 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 um what, what would be I think good i got top score yeah i think you did round eight thirty-eight thousand. and i'm sure john will then come back and say his like 12 year old son got like got to level 20 got like a million in a one score minute. of a million in a minute but that's okay um i guess the graphics card problem affects us all yeah you definitely want to do that heavy lifting if yeah. you want to get something like quest, quest two. two yeah quest two uh let's see so C64 far 64 so vr that's that's crazy Motherboard temperature is down 10 degrees. <laughs> so that's not the problem. GPU is exactly the same. We need GPU one of you exactly to zoom in while we're playing a game, and then we'll actually see if the yeah. whole thing the whole thing falls apart. No, we won't no? Do that I can zoom in from another, <laughs> an, off another device if you want. We but... we may do like anonymous zooms. We'll have we'll have pixel zoom in <laughs> from another room. From another room. That's so funny. Do you want to try that at some point? Yeah, at some point we'll have him in his chair and just kind of pointed at him that would be hilarious okay okay we should do that i'm um, gonna look up tips and tricks in okay. this game me oh okay yeah no, I replaced I'm, not gonna, that... I'm not gonna get what what round did you get to round eight round eight. Oh my god i replaced the chewy cable yes i did i did cable management today <laughs> and now there's no more gray chewy cables for gray chewy cats okay let me look up Tips and tricks for. Or should turbo. I be playing in standard? I don't know. What are you playing? Beginner? Novice stuff. Oh, you should play ah. novice. Novice till you get better. Well, no, I mean, just to see. Oh, to see? I can usually get past round one, so. Oh, then just you to can see. reset. It's alright. Okay. I've started now. Turbo ah, too many. Arcade. It's like TurboTax. Tips for TurboTax. I know, tax. I saw that too. It's like you put in Turbo and immediately it's like TurboTax. Street tax? Fighter Turbo. Fighter Turbo? No. I have to mine a street. Oh, brutal. The ambulance took out a car and took out me in the oh, process. God. Yeah. It's nothing. I'm not doing so well. There's no tips. No tips on how to uh, play Turbo Arcade. No, yeah. it's just all skill. It's like don't hit the cars. That's your tips and tricks. Gran Turismo. No, nothing. It's too old. Nobody plays it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I find about four or five around the turn on high. Four or five green lines is about the speed of a car. 
they won't come up behind you and they won't. Oh, that's okay. I just made it. <laughs> Look, 34. Oh, you didn't get 41. Oh, you didn't hold down the button. You're going to get oh, hit. Dance. You're going to lose a car. Dance. No, Hurry up. no, no. Get, get up. up to speed. There you go. There we go. Okay, be very careful and slow down. Go around them. Don't be in a rush. It's very, it's easy to get enough cars. Ugh, what is up with these guys? It's traffic. It's like driving on Highway 1, trying to get into work every day. Yeah. It's like all the idiots who drive parallel to... Ah! Parallel to each other. Should have went between. I know, but they're... We were on well, we were, we were on a street, and there were two huge, huge trucks coming from the port, and yeah. and a um, a bus, and they were like three astride. Like you couldn't get around them, and I'm like, well, this is great. <laughs> All driving the ugh, the exact the exact same speed. What happened? See, you can either block or you can report somebody. Yeah, just right? block them. Whatever's easier. You're you're distracting me. Don't don't look at me. Oh no no go back. Oh, more oh. practice for me. Hi kitty, he's licking my leg for some reason. And I got rid of him. Hi leggies. Um, like you can select report. Yeah. But it's like five screens and then you have to type something out to report the person yeah it's, it's just like too much work it's a bot yeah they're not exactly. gonna they're not gonna do anything about the bot because you'll get a different ip address and a different login so it's very pss, 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 pss. that's where i keep the chewy cables get out of there <laughs> you're distracting me so much <laughs> you're like s spitting at me from the right hand <laughs> side Hiss, hissing at you hissing come here <laughs> Chewy cables. Yeah, the, we have these gray striped HDMI cables that this cat loves. Just loves. And I've now removed them from everything in, in this room. He may move on to different cables because <laughs> he does like chewing. He but is we, a chewy cat. But we've given yeah. him so many toys. He has so many toys. Oh. We're going to do a little fun thing with him right yeah, now. We'll play the, the bell game. What we've got is a bell. Well, you've just flipped it over. That's not the game. You have to ring it. Ring it. Not spin it. Hit it. Oh, that's pretty good. Just do this. Great. I've got that. A self mod. I got him. I got that guy. I banned him. Ban the bot. It's very complimentary getting bots. Because they think, oh, you know, you're, enough, you're worthy of a bot. Enough, and there are know? enough people watching the show. That's, that's right. Uh, someone's going to pay attention to my crappy message. <laughs> and pay them money. Yeah. For, for fake viewers. Yeah. Why would you even do that? Hey, it's like anything. It's like the Nigerian prince skin. Some, someone Somebody's somewhere fall is, is, is falling for it, so... Yeah, but this one is more a deliberate thing. Oh my god, this, this, four. These guys aren't tricking you into it, right? Thinking they're giving you something you're not getting. Yay, red tunnel. I mean, they could take your money and not give you followers. That's true. But the followers that they're going to give you... That's true. ...are fake followers, just to pump up your numbers. <sighs> I was just thinking that I wish I got a bot occasionally when I was streaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they show I mean, up randomly, I think. And they only give... They only send one messenger, usually. Okay, that's enough. No more. Uh, I don't like this narrow one. You're gonna get chubbier then. No. Right here. Ah. Chubby cat. Oh, you still have a couple cars left. Oh. You're in the green. Just I'm take in the it green. easy. I know, it's Don't just pass rough. anybody. Pass them slowly. Oh, oh. Oh, no, I don't Keep like it around this. there. Oh, a little bit faster. Eric, right, don't crash. Don't crash. Stay on the side. Round three! You did it! Pixel, come here. Come here. 
I'm on stream. Oh, hit by behind you. Pixel. Mm. Pixel. Pixel. Come on. He's being so camera shy. He, he knows. He just knows. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't want to be a part of this. Yeah. Just drag him in. That's what I do. Nice. Often you drag him, in, drag him in and he stays. Yeah. Ah! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Very close. Speed up, speed up. There you go. Together, stop! Ah, <laughs> no! Conspiracy. Oh, it's a conspiracy of cars. Oh, he's missing his bell. <laughs> he got an. Oh no, you didn't give. Did you give Pixel any? I just saw him. He came down. Oh bells. no, you have to give him some. Round three. I'll Very give him good. some. Drag him in. Now. I made it past round two. That was my. Okay, we're gonna go to standard. Oh. Very Sorry. slowly, please. <laughs> oh, the camera's all messed up. Now. Did I? Sorry. Sorry. I wanted to give Pixel some food. Somehow you zoomed in, too. How did I manage that? There you go. My apologies. Can you sit down? <laughs> trouble, trouble, trouble. Okay. We're going to play standard. <laughs> Tokamaro. Mario says, This doesn't look like a game I'd enjoy playing, but it's highly entertaining watch to watch someone playing it. Well, That's I'm good. glad. It is, it is, uh... I, th I, th I think you would tight. enjoy it. It is, it is fun. Even if you don't like racing games, I'm usually not drawn to racing games, but this one has a bit of tactics. To it me. does, yeah. Jesus. But it is definitely an old school game in that. Oh yeah, yeah. It it, it is not easy. <laughs> no, it is not easy. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, so defeating in the first level. Things just crashing well, maybe, from you from behind. Are you on standard? Yeah. Yeah, you are losing lives. I think. Oh, nope, no, nope, maybe nope, not. Nope, You're nope. not? Okay. It is still... Yeah, you take him out, ambulance. You do get a shorter range in the dark. Um, and John said that on the harder levels, they veer into you more. They do. I was playing advanced. So when... Jesus. Yeah, when, when we were... When you were chatting, yeah, I I tried all all three levels. Okay. And uh, advanced, they do seem to crash into you a lot. Oh yeah. Like like like, like they go for you. Like they go for on you on purpose. Yeah. yeah yeah it um it yeah. Like I did. It 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 is a lot more oh, challenging. Pixel. Pull over. Oh, I need to pass some cars. Yeah, Metal Lunar Seven says, "I wish this is what Enduro was like." I need to pass some cars really quick. Nope. I'm not gonna make it. Oh no. <laughs> Terrible. Try it again. You made it to round. Feel like you could be an ambulance chaser as a strategy. It is yes, a strategy. It is. You stay behind them, but if they hit a car, the car goes right for you, so you have to be yeah. careful too. So it's a bit of a yeah. mixed bag yeah. with the ambulance. Because you would think the cars would avoid the ambulance, but not necessarily. The thing is, that the ambulance is like a million times faster than your race yeah. car. I love these hills. Oh, They've done my such God. a beautiful effect with those hills yeah the distance is kind whoosh, of shadowed the fact that they kind of disappear and reappear yeah it's really cool oh my God. no these cars are fairly bad yeah. they don't get out of the way yeah. of even each other i like the they hill. crash into each other oh. and it's a little bit one-sided where you always die no matter how you crash into them. Mm -hmm. But when they crash into each other, one of them only dies. Mm -hmm. That's true. Oh, snow. It's snow like a is fight. a bit challenging. Yeah. yeah, you do glide a little bit more side to side. Yep. So you have a little Whoa. bit more, you kind of go, you kind of overshoot a little bit in the snow. I have to say, this sprite or 
I don't know what you call it, of the car. Yeah, Sprite. The Sprite. I mean, it's not the word they used then. I know, I know. That's the word we use now. Because um, there was no such thing as Sprites. Player characters. Player characters. <laughs> um, the car is beautiful. I mean, oh, it's a yeah. rainbow character, too. And it has scaling as well. Yes. Doesn't it? Like, yes, it does. It does. Yeah. It's amazing. So when it's closer to you, it's a bit bigger. Oh, God, I forgot to press. Oh, go faster, faster, yeah. faster, faster, faster. Tilga Mario, I agree with you. I, they, uh, they say, I think the hills give you a bit of a heads up, too, on where the other cars will be coming down the line. It's like a delay, but it, it, it shows you if they're going to be on the right, middle, or center, so you can yeah. kind of avoid them a little. That's I. I, I mean, this look. is this is the whole game, really, is avoiding cars. <laughs> seeing where they are up ahead and trying to avoid them as they come towards you. But they do oh, move and I shift. Have done that. They do move and shift yep. as well. So that's pretty much where my eye line is. Is yeah. on the horizon. On the horizon. Until they get close, and then I yeah. can watch them a bit closer. Yeah. Whoa. There's definitely a fair amount of strategy. Whoa. Whoa. I'm still hung up on C64 VR. <laughs> yeah. I have mean, to, have to get a good making anything look 3D is is possible play Space in Harrier. Any, any game. So that would be good. Which one? Space, Space Harrier. Harrier. It's a first-person perspective. My dad um, had some pretty awesome. Um, I knew it. Damn it. Flight. He had flight simulator. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, there were some pretty Rescue nice flight. Rescue and Fractilis. That would be yeah. a good first. Anything that's really. I had no room. Mm. Still got it in the green. No, I'm out of lives. Oh no. <sighs> Go again. I'm gonna. Nice. I made it to not level three. Yeah. Oh, no. I want to make it to level three on yeah. standard. Then I'll play level. Then I'll play the advanced. I'd love to try flight simulator in VR, but that requires a very powerful PC. Mm. Yeah. Scale pack. I remember him getting flight simulator. Um, my dad didn't pay for games on the C64 too often. Not many did. Not many did. <laughs> um, but he got Flight Simulator, and I remember it came with a joystick. Yeah. Like, like was packaged in with it, yeah. And he, he really liked that game. He liked golf, and he liked Flight Simulator. Oh, yeah, there were some Those good were golf the games. Those were the two games that my dad played. Um, whereas a lot of the other games, he kind of, like got through a friend who got them through PBS's yeah. and my sister and I played a lot, but, um... Damn it! My favorite VR game right now is Elite Dangerous F Space Flight Simulator and it's beautiful. Ooh, that'd Elite be Dangerous. They're still making Elite games. Um, Space Flight Simulators would be very cool. Yeah, that would be very good for VR. Hi, Marco. He says the fast updated PF graphics are mesmerizing. They yes, are. They are. And the fact that they're so low resolution, so it doesn't play. matter too much because they're moving by so quickly. Yeah. Um, like they're perfectly fine. A full screen PF. Like there's only 40 across the screen. Mm -hmm. Low, low resolution. Will I get 41? Oh no, oh no, I'm going to get less not than 41. Quite, not quite 41. <laughs> oh no, 37. Oh no. Yeah, golf and flight simulator. That's what Dude, I remember golf, my dad. Golf VR? I don't know what golf game it was, but he loved golf. Well, you could do he golf played VR. Golf, so he liked playing golf. On and have golf like a, a Wii type controller yeah. for a golf VR. Um, actually, they have those type of controllers for VR systems. That would be not too bad, because you would be swinging the club and looking around. Mm. You could hook up a fan <laughs> for the wind. Mm. <laughs> a variable speed fan controlled by the computer. time ago. Just don't crash. Bastards. Oof, oof. Let's stick with the yellow guy. This I find very abrupt when you it go is. onto this. 
that turn. Ooh, That's how it job. is in the arcade, though. It's so weird. You're doing very well. You're very much in the green. Yep. So just hold. Stay the course. Whoa, what just Whoa, happened there? Whoa, I think he got hit by someone else, so we didn't quite hit you. Three, two, one. Wow. Woo! 41! Round Zero three! Zero deaths. Standard. Nice. Good stuff. Oh, are you coming up? Come on, Pixel. Come on. Come, baby. Oh. I'm just here. There's a mouse coming down with a cat. No, it was just no? a cat. I said, come here, Pixel, and Atari came running downstairs. He said, me? He's me? like, no, 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 you don't want that cat, you want this cat. This cat's the good cat. No, come here. He can be so cute oh sometimes, God. but he always does it off screen. Off camera, come here. You go up there with your friends. There. Oh, yeah, maybe if he settles there, that would be cute. That turn. Yeah. Man. No, no. Okay. <laughs> no. Not in the mood. Not in the mood. He wants to fight with his brother right now. No, no, no! I knew <gasps> it! Oof. Don't think I'll make a round four. Well, maybe, 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 if I get really lucky. I need to pass a bunch of cars, though. I love though. the red and purple scheme here. Red, pink, and nope. purple. Oh. Sadness. Oh, that was a good round. You should do advanced. Yeah, made it to round three. Yeah. Got my... No, what? Advanced. No expert yet. <laughs> no, advanced. Sometimes is... he puts in expert yeah. mode. Good luck on this one. These guys move all over the place. Narrow right away on this one. Not too narrow. Yeah, trees and water in the sky. Mm. That guy just swerved. Mm -hmm. The turn isn't too long of a time on the screen, so it's not too bad. Oh, um, he swerved back. Don't know how much of memory the cars are, like if a car goes off the screen, like that guy went off the screen and now he's back to that. Was, he went quite a, a bit off the screen. Oh. So slippery. That's still real, though. Yeah, but I'm... Neo Media, yes, a late night stream. Yes. James, what are you calling it? After dark? <laughs> after hours. <laughs> after hours. Zero page after hours. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, Jedi. Oh. I, it's terrible. It? No, it goes terrible. on the screen in huge letters. Jedekaya O2. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much. It does not. Glad you're go enjoying it. it. It's blocked by our video, oh. so the color, if it's off, it's very hard to read. Ah, oh. it is. What's well, on there too? Oh, it is. The yeah. following is not on there. The following is. Press a button. No, don't crash into me. Don't crash. Thank you. I don't think I'll make it to round three. Yes. We'll see. See, they, they remember what the cards that you have passed. Go, 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 go! Toga Mario. After Dark reminds me of the old flying toaster screensaver more than anything else. <laughs> After Dark. Well, then that's good. It's computer related. Yeah. Because that the screensaver was called After Dark. Oh, was it? Yeah. The flying toaster? Yeah. That is hilarious. I do you remember the flying toaster? It's pretty really famous. When screensavers were a thing. Oh. No, screens just turn off. <laughs> I miss screensavers. Oh, God. I also miss... Um, Still, screensavers still exist. Uh, what do you call it with music? Um, Winamp. Win, no, Winamp. Um, visualization. Visualization. That's a problem. There aren't any. I've looked 
very hard and it's very difficult to now find visualizations for music well they just assume you're them. listening to the music and doing something on your computer at the same time i guess but i love the visualizations yeah. you put on put on so a cd awesome. and the visualizations Round will three. play good job advanced. good job <laughs> god damn it yeah winamp was awesome oh lord in it this is awesome so much easier on the eye than the coleco vision version <laughs> oh yeah it's gorgeous Great color it's schemes. It's beautiful. I love. I love the. You sort of wide pixel. Chunky. Um. Art, I guess. I don't know what yeah, you call yeah. it. It's pixel yeah, art for style. sure. Hi. Oh, are oh, you coming up? Pixel wants some attention. It's not dinner time yet, is it? No, we're within half an hour though. That's why you're getting cuddly. I am an ambulance chaser. That does work. <laughs> Metal Lunar 7. I still occasionally use Winamp. It just seems the right way to listen to songs I downloaded 20 years ago from Napster or Kazaa. Oh, funny. <laughs> yep. I love, I love finding an old MP3 that you downloaded off Napster. And it's like you're listening to these Wishy. beautiful, clear songs and then you're like oh that sounds really bad swishy high ends oh horrible or really quiet just like just oh, like yeah. super quiet relative to the song you just played yeah, yeah it's good times round four on advanced how's that take some of that That's how you do a corner. <laughs> you find a car and you stick with it. Yeah. And you chase the ambulance. Oh, and then some idiot comes well, up how did and smacks he, how, you from behind. How did he not get destroyed from that ambulance? He yeah, smacked into it. It's funny, the timing for the ambulance stays, but the ambulance is no longer on the screen if you crash. Oh, what? Say it's, that again. God damn it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The timing, the yes. amount of time the ambulance is on the screen continues, the and the sound, sound continues, yeah, but the ambulance disappears if you crash. I noticed that, yeah. Yeah. I don't Which know is, if that's a thing in the arcade, but it... Yeah, it's probably for the best. Toby Maria, I had an original MP3 player, could hold 9 to 12 songs before the advent of DRM. Oh, Found it a few years ago, loaded with early 2000s songs, yeah. <laughs> A lot of DMX and Creed. That's uh, funny. That DMX, car, nice. The car rear-ended you while you were it was you were out running the ambulance. Yes. Yeah, it did. <laughs> um, and then it rear-ended the ambulance, and nothing happened to yeah. it. Look at that. Yeah. I am very happy That's with that. Very good. Am I trying? What are you on? Advanced. Yep. Is that the right? I mean, you can play no, no, anything play you want. Yeah. I won't get so very far, but. I'm really happy with that. Yeah. yeah that's fun. We should Pick try up. Novice again. You should see if you can beat. He made it to round eight? Uh, yeah, I could do a lot better. But oh, come on. I'm, I'm played out, I think, on this now. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> round eight was good. Whoa, that car went right through you. Yeah, that was lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Nope, trying to do it too fast. You are. Too fast. Old head it. plays. Yes, it is amazing. It is using tech, brand new technology, really. It is full screen play field animation, oh, 60 frames a second. Look at that. With transitions. Uh, using. Because when it does the transition, it is playing essentially two of the Playfield movies. Yeah, you had no chance. At the same time, one then the other, and you saw it really good there with the snow coming down the screen. So it's playing, I, I don't know if he said it was 60 frames a second, but I'm pretty sure he said it was 60 frames a second because it does move very fast. This is terrible. 60 frames terrible a second round. rendered on After Effects for a 2600 I know, game. that's hilarious. <laughs> just, I could not believe when he said that. 
god. I don't know how I did. You're not even close. No, I'm, I'm, but this was a terrible round. Terrible round! So is that occlusion buffering? Don't know what occlusion buffering is. Mm. Full screen play field. Yeah, 40 across. It is absolutely full screen play field with nothing, none of those uh, black lines down the left either. Um, because he's doing um, H moves at the exact right time so that you don't get the, the black lines down the left. Yeah, after effects. Um, it's, a, it's an animated effect. It is. It is reading from, you know, frames that are stored in uh, the 64K binary. And it's going, okay, it's tree time. There's, what, three, four, five frames of trees repeating over and over again. And it reads those. It goes, what frame are you on? And it's got um, asymmetrical Terrible. play field, obviously doing a turn. But you can see there on the right-hand side, there was the water. On the left-hand side, there was the trees. Um, and it was probably reading two different parts because on the right hand side that's normal trees and then there's water on the left and then on the top sometimes there's a city it's it's absolutely unbel unbelievable oh tunnel runner rendered the playfield similarly but this is much smoother and larger screen yeah this is full full screen yeah so it is a pre-rendered playfield video with the cars overlaid really. It's like, draw the cars at a certain spot. But to be able to do this kind of, you know, huge full screen kind of graphics, they've had to utilize, you know, CDFJ and ARM architecture. Uh, oh, you're almost made it. No, so I close. wasn't quite close. Okay, one more. One more. One more. <laughs> you can do it. Advanced is, is definitely harder than novice. So. Oof. Oh, yeah. That is usually my tactic. When I see a car come on the screen, I slow down just a little bit till I get my bearings of where that car is. Yeah, it is actually the best way to do it. But other than that, I just hold down the button until I see a car. Yeah, you, you, you have to speed up. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he's wavering all over the place. And the scaling graphics of the cars, the uh, enemy cars, is really, really good. Uh, Nathan's done some amazing uh, renderings of the cars at the different... Uh, different distances, draw distances. And the fact that your car moves up the screen oh, does slid. make it difficult as well, right? Because mm -hmm. you have less time for reaction. Oh, yeah. oh, I hate that when they hit you. When you're trying to speed up, like how do you do that in round two? I always pull to the side. I always do too. I try to stay slightly to the side, but... Which does help, I find. I'm, a little bit more, I'm a couple more my, cars. You made it. Off my game now. Just don't now. crash, just keep it cool now. Oh, this is the worst. <gasps> don't, don't, don't. There you go. No! Oh! Just don't crash. I thought I was close to the end there. You're oh, that's close. fine, very that's close. fine. <laughs> very well done since there are so many sections and transitions when it changes, yes. Oh, you didn't know that. Lifted it up for a second. That's Almost how easier. You die. I, I kind of wish when you started the round, you started with the four, but it's a continuous race. It is yeah. never-ending race with no refueling mm. and infinite cars. <laughs> well, at least forty-one at a time. But this type of display. So you could avoid that. That was uh, right in the middle. Nice. Good job. Round two. Uh, Are you happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with yeah. that. Advanced. Very difficult. This type of um, display Yeah. you can do a ton of different games with. Mm. You can do flying games where you're flying down like canyons in the 3D perspective. Like this 3D version. 3D perspective version. Mm. You can make the background anything you want. Right? 
and transition to anything you want. Turns, straightaways. Um, so you can make helicopter games or flying games where there's other jets. You can make things along the ground that you need to take care of that transition up towards you. Um, and then on the other side, uh, Chris Walton's game, Xevious, mm. is a top-down perspective version of this where the screen is slowly scrolling and um, you could use that for any um, shooter as well. That'd be very cool. Yeah. 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 So um, good to know CDFJ bank switching scheme is getting larger ROM sizes now. Yep. 64K. The other cars crashing into each other is very unique. Yeah. It's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> very dangerous i do like that though yeah a lot of a lot of racing games don't have that so no they all they crash avoid each into other you but they stay away from each other quite easily so yeah. yeah um so that was the game we wanted to play tonight so yeah. that's that's kind of the the, sh the scheme of after hours <laughs> zero page after hours <laughs> where we just hop on anytime <laughs> hop on anytime and and uh play a game that we wanted to play a little bit longer. Mm. It's not five games. It's just one game. Yeah. You know, that we wanted to yeah, just pull conquer in, pull or in master. Pull the odd game. Or, yeah, pull yeah. in the odd game and uh, yeah. play a little longer. Uh, no, we didn't get back to Get Lost because there is a crashing bug in that one, right? Which we one got was to, Get Lost? That was the 7800 one where it's just a huge map and you're jumping and there's underground areas. You have to collect different things. Uh, there's little dragons that fire things across the screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, I can't remember what you had to collect. But it had a crashing bug at a certain point where the screen just went bleh. Um, so he was working on that to get that fixed. Propane 13, mm. um, the developer. That's one we want to get back to, but it's not much point until, until the fix is released because mm. it's just going to keep crashing at that same exact point mm -hmm. uh he was able to track that down last thanks to your video yeah so i'm waiting for the release uh the fix release and we'll mm. definitely we'll play it again do a long play on that because mm -hmm. i because you can continue you can just keep playing that game yes yeah, over nice. and over yeah, so that's good that's a perfect one. Oh, this will get a box release this one's coming out in 2022 uh turbo Oh, good. But he's got... 2022. Yeah. Oh, so more than a year away. Yeah, he's got Ladybug Arcade. Okay. He's got Robotron. Oh, that that are coming out. Yeah. He's got another one. Oh, Gorf Arcade as well. Mm. Then in 2022, there's this one. It's probably Champ Sports Baseball as well. And a bunch of other games. He's got so many in the roster <laughs> waiting to be waiting to be mm. done. Yeah. Uh, great idea. These are prop two streams are fun. Yeah, they're fun because we don't have to do them at a certain time. Hmm. It's like, oh, we've got a couple you hours. You don't have to prepare a whole bunch of stuff for them. Just, just make sure a everything's bit. running a little and a yep. little bit of information. And this was so. also kind of a test <laughs> of the new setup yeah. as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. As John shown any baseball, he has. He's oh, he shown has. some screenshots. Oh, of I it. see. I see. He's shown some screenshots of hockey. If you go to champ.games, his website. Yeah. Uh, you can see them there, mm. I believe. What f caused Friday's stream to disconnect? Right now, <laughs> I'm blaming it on the USB issues that we're having, mm -hmm. which now I have fixed. You're hoping? Seems to be great. Like, I Well, this is fine, but... Oh, no, no. Do you want me to zoom in with Pixel and see if it, it continues? I'd have to set up some other things. Okay. We'll do that next Never time. Mind. Okay. Because... Yeah. Um, Definitely the issues occurred when you had someone Skyping or Zooming in at the same time you were streaming. And yeah. that's when everything just wow. went kaput. That's so, another USB connection. Yes. Right? Yeah. And it could be that extra input that's yeah. causing problems. So. Yeah. But I've yeah. solved the USB problem. That's good. Because USB 3 can only be less than 9, nine feet. feet 11 inches. Yeah. Um, and I have it all less than that now. It was, it was before it was like 12 to 16 feet. Some of these connections. Really? That's crazy. And it was, and it was always kind of working. And then I would have to disconnect something and then reconnect and yeah. kick start it again and then unplug and plug it back mm -hmm. in. 
as soon as I connected this new setup where it's all less, I've got a repeater as well. Yeah. A powered repeater, which yeah. you can go longer than nine feet, so it's not a strict rule. Yeah. But anyway, the repeater, as soon as I plugged that in, I've never had a problem. I yeah. didn't have to restart anything. Oh, it just that's good. all works. It's all working properly. Oh my God, that's such a relief. Yeah. Only uh, mm. three years in, not too bad. Four, well, four years it's surprising in, it doesn't cause year. more problems, but I still think it's when you add that that la that extra input of yeah. of the zoom. Yeah, that could um, have been longer too, um, too long. It could be that I don't yeah. know, but it seemed that that was when you were having problems. Not when, not the regular streams, but when you actually have have people skyping in. We didn't have somebody skype in the Atari time before. H, we had problems too. We did, but it didn't crash. But the, it had the, problems. Oh yeah, it yeah. Had problems. Yeah. 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 I, I, but you, didn't you have someone zooming in? The it's one because the setup before? was upstairs and I was using different USB cables. Maybe. Um, I don't think it crashed before, but the stream before the last one tr crashed and we were just playing. It didn't, didn't have, have anyone. We didn't zooming have anybody in. zooming in. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. So Turbo Arcade will be out, um, this upcoming week, he says might be. Wrong, in the Atari or? Age forums, yeah, yeah. in the bi a binary for a it. A binary, yeah. Yeah, don't call them ROMs. No? Is ROM bad? <laughs> it's not entirely correct. Okay. Because um, that implies you can only read things, read only memory. Yeah. Um, calling it a binary is a little bit more accurate, okay. I, I've, I've heard. Yeah, so that's better to call it that. Okay. Even though ROM's never going to go away, people calling it ROMs. Well, yeah, sometimes it's just... What would they call it? Um, the co colloquial way of saying it. Yes. Right? Yeah. It's just like people when um, cartridges came out, people called them cassettes. Oh, funny. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yeah. they did. They did call them cassettes. Because people knew about like tapes. Tapes. Like cassette so they were tapes. thinking in that like, sense. Oh, it's a cassette yeah. and you plug it yeah. in and you get something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so watch for that in the Atari Age forums um, and watch out for us. Just jumping on. Mm. And that's why you should follow. If you haven't followed, yeah. follow this because it'll alert you to when we do these shows. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or subscribe. I, I don't think it actually alerts you if you don't follow, but you do subscribe. I'm not sure. Really? Yeah. I don't know. But follow anyway. Um, so thanks for watching tonight. Yeah. Neo Media, Old Head Plays, Toga Mario. Those are two new names, aren't they? Toga Mario? I've Maybe seen I've Toga heard, Mario before. But not Old Head Plays. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Metal Lunar 7, Marco Johannes. Prow Seven, um, Lord in it, Lord in it, nice. Jedekai Zero Two, yeah, McMuse, McMuse, I supposed to, yeah, Atarianer, Atari, Atari, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, anyone else is on? It. Yeah, it's true. Just showed up on my phone. Yeah, yeah, it'll uh, let you know. Yeah, yeah. So thanks for hanging out with us on this inaugural <laughs> zero page. Well. After hours. <laughs> now I want to say after hours. After dark. But after, after dark. We'll see. It's just a temporary name. <laughs> after hours. Because it'd probably usually be after dark when we jump on. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Could be middle of the day. You never know. Or dark. After, after hours. hours low. <laughs> after hours implies like everything's shut down. Yeah. And it's like, oh, we'll have one more drink. We'll just after. have one light. Yeah, one light will be on. Oh, yeah. we could. We could have mood lighting to differentiate <laughs> yes. it, right? Just have we the could. overhead. Yeah. What that looks like. Let's I don't see. think it would look very good. No, don't do that. That's not a good Let's sign. See it. No. No. <laughs> oh, he yeah. almost. He just tripped over a cat. Well, I was stepping over and he. See, he just looks dark now. Yeah. That's more after dark than after hours. <laughs> <laughs> after dark has a more playful feel. <laughs> no, we'll keep the lighting. Or we could turn on the ZPH if we do that. Oh, that's true. So turn that's on the safe. ZPH. All right. That would be cool, right? Then you could use the use the ZPH. There you go. Makes a horrible high pitch wine, but that's okay. That's a bit flashy. Need a robe in a glass, a sifter of brandy. I think we can use one of them and bounce it off the wall or something. <laughs> Just have one on the side. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Nah, it just doesn't look good. <laughs> I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll mm. think about it. Um, 
So thanks for hanging out with us. Yes. Uh, and we'll, uh, we're on break right now, actually. <laughs> sort of. Yeah. Sort of on break. There's no scheduled shows for another couple of weeks. But, we'll, play, uh, we'll play a few games. We'll definitely be coming now. on here and there. Yep. Um, just to play a game. Because there's a bunch that I wanted to play. Just do a long like, play on. Do a long play on. And yeah. we just haven't been able to do that. Yeah. So, yeah, follow. And you'll be alerted to those things. So we will see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.